नमस्कार टुडे इज अ वेरी स्पेशल डे एज वी हैव विद अस मिसेस रीना कौशल धर्मशक्तु पॉपुलरली नोन एज द क्वीन ऑफ साउथ पोल शी इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन वुमन टू स्की फ्रॉम द कोस्ट ऑफ अंटार्कटिका टू साउथ पोल इन 2009 एज अ पार्ट ऑफ एट वुमेन कैस्पर्स्की कॉमनवेल्थ अंटार्कटिका एक्सपीडिशन सो वेलकम मिसेस रीना ऑन आवर शो थैंक यू मीनू एंड थैंक यू आकाशवाणी फॉर हैविंग मी हियर It's a pleasure to have you here. Okay Reena, first we would like to know you as Reena. What is Reena? Reena Kaushal. I was uh, born in Bareilly. My mom is from Bareilly. My father is a Punjabi and uh, he was in the army. So he got posted around all over India and ultimately he liked Darjeeling. So he decided to settle there and take premature retirement. And that's where most of my education took place and also my formal training. Uh, took place there my husband uh, lavraj uh, singh dharmshaktu he is from uttarakhand and uh, currently we are living in delhi okay reena do you know that people call you the queen of south pole no i wasn't aware of it <laughs> just to say only that sounds quite good to me <laughs> but i don't know i hope i deserve that title <laughs> okay yes you do deserve the title of queen of south pole and we would like to tell our audience how you got this title and why you got this title so before we start about your journey to this title let our audience know what training you took to come into the field of mountaineering and skiing i had uh, done my formal mountaineering training from himalayan mountaineering institute darjeeling there are uh, several institutes like this which give formal training in india one is in uh, manali another one in kashmir one is in uttarakashi uttarakhand itself and so on in arunachal also we have one and now also we have a new institute which is coming up in uttarakhand uh, in district pithodgar in munchari it's called pandit nayan singh survey mountaineering training institute and incidentally i happen to be the osd for it so i'm helping up the government of uttarakhand set it up okay before we start about your training and mm. uh, your expedition let us know something more about the main man in your life <laughs> and that hero. is your husband <laughs> Okay yeah so he's uh, also a big mountaineer and uh, he's uh, currently in the border security force and uh, he has climbed mount everest seven times mostly he's gone on eco everest expeditions so cleaning up expeditions of the everest and he's besides everest he's also climbed the third highest mountain of the world kanchanjunga kanchanjunga is the highest mountain of india and he's done over uh, 50 mountaineering expeditions Okay and his name is you missed Lavraj. out the name oh. <laughs> His name is Lavraj Singh Dharmshaktu Yes and Lavraj Singh Dharmshaktu is a very well known in the field of mountains So this is about your husband and how hmm. did you meet Mr Dharmshaktu when and how I had met him in Ladakh in Leh so I was uh, returning from an expedition and he was uh, going for an expedition so we met through a common friend at that time so we just had we, it wasn't a very long meeting we just had a cup of tea <laughs> okay and which year it was this was in the year 2000 and you got married in 2004 <laughs> okay and yeah. who all are there in your family so in my family uh, i have one son he's uh, going to be 7 in october and yeah it's a small family and my parents now i have my mother my father had expired in 2008 and i got sisters and brothers and and in law side also it's a big family because they're a family of seven children Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you are currently based in Delhi. Yeah, in Dehradun also because right now because I'm uh, doing that OSD work for the institute. Right. The building hasn't come up is it? So the Pandit Nayan Singh Surveyor Mountaineering Training, Training Institute. Yes, yes. Okay, Reena, now tell our audience how did Antarctica happen? Yeah. So I read in a newspaper that felicity aston is uh, looking for girls who are interested in skiing to antarctica and i wished and who is felicity aston she is uh, she used to be a scientist who had worked in antarctica mm-hmm. that time she thought about you know leading women's expedition to south pole and currently she is a traveler and she writes and she gives motivational talks and she does a lot of freelance writing How did you come to know about this expedition that Felicity Aston is was going to launch? I had read it in the newspaper, and uh, that time I wished that I would be selected for the expedition, but I wasn't aware that I, what the process and also I had gone to the Indian Mountaineering Foundation where I was told that I can apply online, 
and so i had applied online and she shortlisted 10 women from india and out of which uh, two were shortlisted for further training in norway and in norway final i was selected okay mm-hmm. so what was so special in you that you got selected out of those 10 ladies <laughs> i don't know actually <laughs> maybe i was a good team player and uh, very physically fit and also had some qualities like i was very much in my element like in the outdoors i am in my element because i've uh, lived since my childhood i have been in the outdoors only and enjoyed the outdoors so there must have been these qualities which she saw and selected me yeah. so what is your education in all i have uh, just an uh, bcom from st joseph's college and i studied in lotto convent darjeeling only After and when did you decide to take mountaineering as a profession I actually yeah I was interested you know in uh, mountaineering I as as a child I used to see the trainees doing training doing rock climbing and uh, going for treks and so I wasn't really sure I, that I want to be a mountaineer at that time but I used to enjoy those activities and then I had taken up desk jobs and all office work regular office work in Delhi and and I've also been a teacher in Darjeeling and uh, although it was uh, enjoyable to be a teacher in darjeeling but i thought i'd rather be teaching outdoors than indoors so i was uh, longing to be outdoors all the time so that's when i decided that actually that's my calling okay mm-hmm. so it was felicity aston whose mm-hmm. call you responded to yes yeah, she had uh, put up this uh, website where we could apply so lots of women had applied that's uh, any particular criteria no actually it wasn't people would think that she had asked for mountaineers and skiers no she had just asked uh, for women who were passionate about uh, doing whatever they like to do okay so like we had housewives applying we had army officers applying scientists doctors from all professions actually and how many days you spent in training in norway i had spent uh, about uh, two weeks only it was in uh, south of norway in uh, hardanga vidda pla- plateau and there also it was uh, sub zero temperatures like minus 18 and there used to be uh, like snow storms and there in that we were camping outside and uh, you know cooking on our own and carrying our own loads and also uh, lots of girls were learning how to ski also because even i knew a little bit of skiing but i i was uh, like perfecting the art of skiing over okay. there yeah you were eight women finally who were selected for this expedition yes so how much uh, did it cost you it it costed a lot <laughs> okay yeah, i was like at the end of my resources actually <laughs> oh my god yeah and your husband was very helpful in yes he's been uh, very supportive because uh, thankfully for me it's uh, somebody from the same profession so he can understand uh, why i would like to be outdoors why i want to go for mountaineering and such remote lands where there's a lot of risk also involved but uh, it's a very like paying as in like when you see the sunrise or when you're just sitting by a lake and enjoying so he can understand those kind of feelings so can um, we say that your husband is your inspiration yes he's been very uh, he's been a very big motivating factor for me <laughs> okay and you took this expedition after you got married to him yes after that yes right so now let us know about this expedition of yours this yeah. eight women team who went to antarctica and what made this team so special that ultimately you grabbed the title of the queen of south pole because of this particular expedition so let us talk about this expedition in length okay yeah so we had the women from all over the world we had uh, first women from new zealand skiing to the south pole then uh, we had uh, first uh, person from cyprus first person from brunei and then we had two ladies from uh, uk actually our leader felicity aston and another one uh, was a replacement for the girl from ghana because she couldn't make it for various reasons then we had the girl from jamaica who would ha- who would have been the first uh, person to ski to the south pole from jamaica but uh, there were issues with her and she could not actually complete the expedition with us and then uh, we had a girl from singapore who became the first uh, singapore woman to ski to the south pole so actually our expedition we broke a lot of records yeah. so there were many firsts in your expedition yes, yes. <laughs> and especially women 
Yeah, all women. <laughs> so this is your team, the eight women from various parts of the world. Yeah. And how was Felicity Aston as a leader? Yeah, she's a dynamic leader. She could understand the strengths of a person, which is very important as a leader. So where you can put those people, which areas you should put them or utilize them. Somebody is good in organizing. Somebody is good in uh, like finding sponsors and in the actual expedition also. Uh, somebody is organizing the tent. Somebody is doing the pitching up the tent outside and finalizing the details. So it was uh, very good uh, that way. And this Antarctica expedition. So many people have been to Antarctica, as I said earlier. Also, mm -hmm. what is so special about your expedition? We actually, first of all, we did a lot of we broke a lot of records. It was all women expedition. We had no guides. We had nobody except ourselves. And uh, also, like, we were doing the actual thing. As in, like, we were skiing from the coast of Antarctica to South Pole. That is uh, covering a distance of 900 kilometers. Nowadays, a uh, lot of people, they do the last degree, from the 89th degree to 90 degrees. And that is about 112 kilometers. But uh, the proper official record is the one if you coast to pole, if you do that. Right. Mm -hmm. So, which means the first thing that make your expedition very special is that you skied to the 900 kilometers of uh, the yeah, span. from the coast to pole. From the coast to pole. Okay. 